What we're doing here today is we're looking at a, uh, a core uh, uh, sample of the uh, transfer mall system. You can see the uh, inner rail, the inner stud rail with three quarter inch foam, the 12 inch concrete, and then of course we have an outer rail out here. So actually, uh, pardon me, that's an in inner rail. So what we're doing this is on, this core was cut on the interior wall. So interior rail, three quarter foam. 12 inches of concrete, three quarter inch foam, and another interior rail through the uh, transform uh, wall system. And you can see the dispersant of the helix. Yeah, obviously you can see the, the helix. Here's some a little bit here, and then you can see it throughout the uh, the core sample. So you got good coverage. Is basically what that's really showing yes. you. Yeah. The, the, and you see no honeycombs. You see just really good, good solid, solid pour. Solid pour, yes. Yeah, and you got another one over there in the back behind that. And that would be the same way. Same way, they've done two. Everybody. I wait for work. And then. This is where your core drills came from, two of them? Four of them, yeah. Four of them, right. Right. That house we did over by Lampings, which is transformed, we put radiativity in it. It's on a resort where water is not an issue. Concrete and, and on the wall. Does it continually draw pressure then to keep it sealed? Or this right here is a little vacuum hooks up to it. And as soon as you're in the drain, you're good to go. So for those holes up on the wall, you had to build a scaffold, get it up there? Oh, scissor lift. I was putting scissor lift. How critical? Uh, what's that? Go ahead. I attached a piece of uh, melamine, you know, smooth surface melamine, mm -hmm. and then put it in place, hit the suction, and sucked it to the wall, and plugged it in and went. You had uh, lines pop where you knew center was, and how critical, just a quarter of an inch? It's, I mean, it's right on. And this thing actually has a little beam, a little laser to put you right on your dots. So, I mean, it's. And that's diamond encrusted? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Cool. This is. Was that left hand thread? Yeah. So when you're spinning, it tightens itself. But this machine will, you can do a hole at a 45. When you sit there and drill a 45. If you need to get, let's say you get your concrete wall here, and you need to go on the other side of the concrete wall, which you don't have the room, it'll actually drill at a 45 each on the other side of that concrete wall. Or a bar something. Protruding away. Or yeah, or a bar joist. You can go to 45 to miss the bar joist and still be where you want to be for your plumbing. Cool. So, so y'all own that piece of equipment. That's the Huffs. What is your name? Jared. You've been here since the beginning, haven't you? No, four years in September. Four years in September. Okay. Been here a while. Yep. I appreciate it. 